Skill 4, Emergency Decon. You will demonstrate emergency decontamination of a victim or responder by using water. Keep in mind, removing of clothing eliminates the majority of the contaminants. The situation and product will determine the appropriate level of decontamination in an actual incident. This victim has been contaminated with a hazardous substance. First, select an appropriate site in order to minimize runoff contamination. While life safety is first priority, look for a site upwind and uphill, so any hazardous materials or vapors will flow or be blown toward the hot zone if possible. Be careful to avoid areas where runoff might reach or impact storm drains, sewers, or waterways. Guide the victim to the selected site. You will direct the victim through proper decon procedures, which are flush, strip, flush, and cover. The first flush removes the gross contamination from the outer clothing. Approach the victim and rinse thoroughly from the head, working down to the feet. Direct the victim to turn one quarter turn, then rinse again. Continue through the full rotation, always rinsing from head to toe. Next, instruct the victim to remove as much contaminated clothing as possible. To avoid cross-contamination, do not touch the victim or the clothing being removed unless it's absolutely necessary. Instruct the victim to place all clothing in a designated area and weigh it down with his or her shoes. Direct the victim to move to an area of less contamination. Rinse the victim again, thoroughly from head to toe, through a full rotation of quarter turns. Direct the victim to carefully wash hands, face, and any other potentially contaminated areas. If the victim needs immediate medical attention, send them to medical before covering. If there is no urgent need for medical attention, direct the victim to move away from the wash area. Give the victim protective clothing. Direct the victim to exit the warm zone for further evaluation.